that I'm going to ruffle a few feathers with what I'm about to say. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those that are new and welcome to a new video. Of course, I have to go ahead and thank my subscribers. I am so thankful that you all are here, here supporting me and my channel. I could not be more thankful for you all and I'm so blessed to have you a part of the winning team. I am on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Yes, 1K subscribers. Yes, I know that I can do it. I know that we can do it and I know that y'all are going to help me get there. So if you are into smelling good at all times, 24-7, like me, into photography, beauty, and fashion, I believe that this is the channel for you. So please consider subscribing and becoming a part of the winning team okay so in today's video we will be talking about one of my most favorite things in this entire world which is what perfume 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 yes i love perfume i love smelling good at all times and there's nothing like getting a compliment on how good you smell that is one of my most favorite compliments that i can receive like of course you can tell me that i'm beautiful cute pretty or you like my outfit or anything else but if you tell me that i smell good oh mm, mm, mm. i know that i've done my thing for the day and I'm, it just puts me in a good mood i know that we wear fragrances for ourselves of course but it's just nothing like getting a compliment on your fragrance or how good you smell so the fragrance that i will be talking about today is one of the most hyped up fragrances gourmand fragrances on tiktok instagram youtube whatever social media app this fragrance is talked about if you don't know i am a gourmand girly i love gourmand fragrances like your vanilla slips cream marshmallow fragrances those are my favorite notes that anyone can add to a perfume so of course i had to hop on this trend and figure out what all the hype was about this bianco latte so last year i was just on a hunt to find the best the best the best the best vanilla or gourmand perfume in the world and every time i search it up on youtube bianco latte bianco latte bianco latte bianco latte so i was like okay i have to try it out i have to get my hands on it last year i spent so much money on perfumes that i could have bought a mansion okay so i did go ahead and pick up the sample size oh hold on <laughs> I did pick up the sample size from Lucky Scent. Was it Lucky Scent? Yes. From Lucky Scent. I actually think what stopped me from purchasing the full bottle was the fact that Bianco Latte was sold out everywhere. So I had no other choice but to get this sample and I'm so glad that I did. I paid no more than $10 for this fragrance. So once I received my order from Lucky Scent, I was so excited. Like, I was so excited to the point where when I got my package, I had to open it up in the car. Because, y'all, when I tell you I love perfume so much, and just the anticipation of seeing if I like the scent was just eating at my skin. I'm just coming around to do my review because I did want to let this fragrance settle with my spirit. So that I can really do a true review. But I will have to say... When I first smelled this perfume, I literally was like, what is this? This is what people are saying the best gourmand is? No way. And I'm sad to say that I still feel the same way. Like, this Bianco Latte is so overhyped in my opinion. I know that fragrances are subjective. What might work for me might not work for you, vice versa. But this one was a huge letdown. And I'm going to tell you why. I've given this perfume at least four times. And each time... It was enough for me as you can see this fragrance is pretty much still full i've only did a little swipe four times so that right there lets you know that i was not a huge fan of this fragrance i really 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 wanted to love this fragrance so much especially because of all the hype that it was getting and i just wanted to see if this was the best gourmand out on the market and i have to disagree with everybody because everybody loves this perfume i'm guessing i honestly feel like if i would have purchased a full bottle of this perfume i would have sold it the next day because i do sell my perfumes on macari i put my macari account down here i do have perfumes there for sale just in case y'all want to shop with me come on girl or come on gentlemen i did try so it just comes like this and i'm gonna dip it get my juice going and we're gonna see okay I don't know. I mm -mm. I do not like this at all. 
Yeah, I really tried to work with this fragrance. I have tried this at least four times. Well, this is my fifth time now, and it's still a no-go for me. It's something about it that just smells very medicinal. Like, it just doesn't work with my skin chemistry. Maybe, maybe my nose hasn't fully matured. I don't know what it is, but this is not for me. Oh, it kind of makes me nauseous. That's what it is. Like, I'll smell it, get whips of it, and I'll get... I'll feel a little queasy and I really don't feel like that towards fragrances besides the Jerjoff Italica. Oh my god. Alright, that's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother discussion for another day. Okay. I can't really tell that it has a vanilla note in here, but it's almost like they add some type of medicinal coconut or cookie crumble note in here that just doesn't work with me. And Y'all know one of my most favorite things to do when it comes to my fragrance is look at the notes to see what's in here to make it smell so good. But we're going to see what's making this smell not so good to me. Okay. For the main accords, you have vanilla, sweet, caramel, balsamic, powdery, honey, musky, aromatic, and woody. Top notes, you have caramel. The middle notes, you have coumarin and honey. And for the base notes, you have vanilla and white musk. It must be that coumarin. It has to be the coumarin that I'm not liking. I'm not sure. I haven't, I don't think that I have a perfume with the note of coumarin. I smell the caramel, the vanilla, coumarin, and the honey the most. And maybe those notes mixed together. I bet you if they would have took that coumarin out, oh my gosh, the vanilla and the caramel and the honey. Oh, I would have probably loved it. But I don't know. Let me see what exactly coumarin is because I want to make sure that that's what I'm smelling. Let's see. Okay, so they say coumarin smells like sweet aromatic coconut. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Because earlier I said coconut and I don't, I cannot, I cannot stand coconut for the life of me. I don't know what it is. If a fragrance has coconut in it, it has to be done really well. Like, it has to be smooth, silky in order for me to like it. Because the Ariana Grande fragrance, I believe Cloud, it has coconut in it. And I love that perfume so much. But yes, that's so crazy. I'm getting so I'm getting so good at this. Earlier I said it had a coconut note in it and they're saying that coumarin, you know, it's like a sweet aromatic coconut. I think I'm the only one, the only person that does not like this perfume. And like I said, I know that everyone has different noses, but it seems like the whole world loves this one, okay? I was watching a video on YouTube before I got this fragrance and this girl said it was the best gourmand in the world. If you love gourmands, you will love this perfume. So I was so hyped. I said, yes, I know that I'm going to love it. Since this scent doesn't work out for me, it doesn't mean that it will not work out for you. So I don't want to deter anyone from, you know, purchasing this. I would suggest you just get a sample of this because in my opinion, it is not blind buy worthy. And I'm a fan of blind buying perfumes, okay? This perfume retails for $150 on Lucky Scent. If this is in your price range, go ahead and do what you got to do. But I know that some people are looking for more affordable fragrances. So you might not want to splurge $150 you know, just on this perfume. I normally layer my fragrances. Like, I swear that I'm a mixologist when it comes to perfumes. And I have not tried to layer this yet. I might try to work with this. But as, like, it's standing by itself, I am not a fan of it at all. Now, I will say that it is, you can tell that it is a great scent. I'm not knocking the fragrance at all. But it just does not work for me. So yes, that was just my quick little video about the Bianco Latte. I personally don't think it's worth the hype. That's just me. That's my thoughts. So yes, thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I really would love to know your thoughts on the Bianco Latte. Like, am I the only one that does not like it? Let me know. Okay. And if you do like it, love it, tell me down below. I would love to know your thoughts, like I said. So yeah. See you in my next one.